So in the extended law of sines, uh, we take our very um, familiar ratios that we refer to as the law of sines, which is the sine of A over uh, A and the sine of B over B and sine of C over C, um, where these ratios are all the same, where A is the angle at uh, A and then side A is the opposite side, side B is opposite at angle B and side C is opposite angle C. And we extend that to show how it has a relationship with the radius of this circle that's through, drawn through the uh, points in a triangle. To uh, do this, you need to know a couple things. Uh, the first thing is you need to remember that the um, circumcenter of a triangle is the center of this circumscribed circle. And the circumcenter of the triangle is found by drawing in the perpendicular bisectors. So if we draw in a perpendicular bisector to AC through point D, um, uh, we know it goes through point D because D is the center of the circle, and um, the circ that center is found by connecting up the three perpendicular bisectors. So we're going to use this fact. We're going to use this fact by extending it to where it intersects the circle. The second fact is when you're looking at um, circles and you have a chord like AC, um, and that chord is bisected, and if you draw in the perpendicular bisector of that chord, what also happens is it turns out to bisect the arcs. So if I call this point E here, arc AE is going to be congruent to arc EC. And so arc AE is just going to be half of um, arc AC. Well, we also know something about arc AC uh, based on angle B. And that is, angle B is an inscribed angle, and the arc is always equal to twice the measure, we're going to call, just, we'll just for the sake of this problem, we'll use the variable B, the measure of B. So that means if AC is 2B, AE, the measure of that is equal to the angle B. And that is our key component here um, to find, showing this extended law of sines, because when we draw in AD, ADE is a central angle, ADE, that arc AE is, is measure B, and so that means this angle here, measure of angle D here, is the same as this angle. So if we call this B, we can then draw in using basic sign. And the basic sign is opposite over adjacent, so opposite is going to be this segment. Well, if AC it has length B, and DE is a perpendicular bisector, this segment here is just one half of B. So that equals one half B. And then AD is going to be big R. And so AD is R. And so you get one half B over the circumradius, which is our big R. And now if we um, do some algebra manipulation, we can say sine of B equals b over 2r by multiplying the top and the bottom by 1 over r. Then doing cross multiplication, we can get 2r equals b over sine of b. And then it's easy to see that this proof for the general case of angle b is going to be the exact same for angle a and angle c. And so we know then that all three of those are going to be equal to 2r. So now, if we know the, um, enough to do, use the law of sines, we actually now know enough to do the um, radius of the circumcenter. So it's a very powerful extension of the uh, law of sines.